Well everyone, give yourselves a hand because you just about made it through 2019. And now that we're at the end of the year, the holiday season and time of relative racism is upon us. Ah, the smell of grandma's offhand comments, man that takes me back. After rushing through the beta holidays of yore, we have finally arrived at Christmas. The Chad of holidays. Good looking, athletic, sweet, and best of all, plays video games. Today me and Chad are going to be discussing my favorite Christmas games out there. Please keep in mind a lot of these games don't actually have anything to do with Christmas, but because of my past nostalgia with them, it evokes a certain feeling or a certain smell. Damn it, it's just grandma again. So let's go ahead and start off with a weird but simple one. Just in case you're asking, what do you mean these Christmas games have nothing to do with Christmas? Y yeah, so like, GTA has no essence of Christmas. The only thing anyone ever does in this game is drive around killing other players, civilians, stealing millions of dollars from hard work and Americans. That much is very true. But what you don't understand is that there's snow. See, every time Christmas comes around, it snows in the lands of Grand Theft Auto V. And where the snow falls, Christmas calls. In all seriousness, a couple years back I got a brand new graphics card in Christmas and the first game I tried running was GTA. And it was crazy, I had never been able to run a game like this before and here I was, killing other players and stealing millions just like Santa wanted. And I don't know what it is, but every year me and my friends seem to pick up the game right around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. I guess it's just the holiday season that brings out the murder in us. Yeah, so that was a weird pick, now you see what I mean. Let's go ahead and see something a little more Christmassy. Ah, hell yeah. Everybody knows that when you think Christmas, you think RuneScape. That's just classic thinking. RuneScape was a game I played a lot back in 2009 and 2010. I have very fond memories of waking up super early before school to play with my brother. I remember back then we didn't always have access to two computers, but we still wanted to play together. So we'd open up two tabs and play together on the same PC. I always thought RuneScape had a bit of a Christmas feel to it overall. And not just because it has snow in some areas, but that's why it's here. Also for the fact that they do a Christmas event every year, except for 2003, I don't really know what happened there. RuneScape is just that MMO that I could play all day, every day, especially during the winter season. Alright, what else we got here? You know what, let's do two games at once, we can have double the Christmas fun. Fuck, I've got some explaining to do. Okay, 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 hear me out. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Smash Bros. Melee were the first games I ever received as gifts, and I got them for Christmas way, 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 way back when. Now you might be asking why Melee isn't here then. Just, just chill dude, just wait a bit, it'll be here. Everyone knows that Sunshine is the summer game, yes, I absolutely agree. You pull it off the dusty shells every year to go swimming in the goop of Isle Delfino, I'm with you. But while I agree with that, this will always be a Christmas experience to me. Sunshine is probably the weirdest game on this list, but man if it doesn't bring you back to Christmas of 04 or 05, maybe even 03. I don't know, I was a stupid idiot baby, I was just happy to see Mario. Now as for Sonic Adventure 2, there's a snow level. Seriously though, me and my siblings lived off of the versus mode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And when it was too cold to go outside or we were forced to spend time together as a family, we always whipped out the Sonic Adventure. Honestly, I could have put like almost any other GameCube game on here. I don't know what it is, but the GameCube just reeks of Christmas spirit to me. But Sonic, you take the cake this time, buddy. Of all the games on my list, this is probably going to be the most Christmassy that we get. And even then, it's not all that Christmassy, there's just snow everywhere. But like I said, where the snow falls, the Christmas calls. Of all the MMORPG type games I've played, the game I spent the most time in as a kid has to go to Club Penguin hands down. Sorry RuneScape. I spent far too much time playing this, but the problem nowadays is that the official original Club Penguin is long gone. Fortunately. Through the use of technology and people that I cannot bother to research right now because it's Christmas time, we have not one, but two revivals. Club Penguin Rewritten and Club Penguin Online. If you want the true, classic experience, you go for a rewritten. It's just like the game was back in 2008 or so, but if you want the modern day experience of Club Penguin with more games, areas, and Karajutsu Fire, you go for Online. That's a whole separate video topic on its own though. I just can't help but taste the Christmas juices when I play Club Penguin. The first time I got a membership and bought clothes and upgraded from Penguin Virgin was during the Christmas season. The festive parties, the Santa games, decorating your igloo. I remember so many good times in CP, that's what us Penguiners call it, and I will cherish them always. Anyways, Christmas, 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 Christmas. <laughs> I love Mega Bloks. If you think this is weird, I get it. If you think this is a good opinion, 
then you are correct because it is. The Star Wars franchise in general just oozes Christmas everywhere. My family always pulls it out around the holiday season when we want to watch something. Almost all of the new films have come out mere days before Christmas. There's a Christmas special? Legos also carry a Christmas aroma with them. What did I get as a present for every year from the ages of 5 to 37? That's right. Legos. So what happens when you take Legos and combine it with Star Wars? Well, that was when happiness was first discovered. I think both LEGO Star Wars 1 and 2 are deserving to be on this, but if I had to pick one of them, I'd have to give it to LEGO Star Wars 2. I played it way more when I was a kid, and I mean, have you seen Hoth, dude? Have you seen Hoth? What's that on the ground? This also fits in with my theory from earlier that I could put basically any GameCube game on this list, and it's not gonna be the last one. Anyways, moving on. I could do this, it could be weirder. The Super Smash Bros. series has a history in my household for being Christmas presents. Smash 64 was not a Christmas present, but it was a present, and present means Christmas. Melee, like I mentioned earlier, was one of the first games I ever got, and I still cherish it to this day. Brawl, I genuinely don't remember if this was a Christmas gift, but I very distinctly remember a school getting cancelled due to a big snowstorm a day or two after we got the game. And when snow falls, Smash 4, me and my siblings pooled our couch cushion cash together to buy ourselves a nice early Christmas present, and Smash Ultimate. Released on December 7th of last year, I invited some of my best friends in the world to stay with me for a launch event and to have one of the most fun weeks of all time. They came from every corner of the map just to spend time with me and play the game. It wasn't quite Christmas, but still, it's one of the best presents I've ever received. The Smash series is the definition of joy. It's a staple at any gathering of friends or family. It's an easy game to pick up and play, and an easy way to spend the day dreaming about Santa's sleigh. <sighs> I love Christmas. What's up next? It's got at least three f snow levels in the series. Merry Christmas.